I don't think you can go wrong if you do what you love. If you're pursuing what you love, you'll eventually find it. Your, your ambition, your, your, uh, your desire will get you there. Your stick to it that's what passion and love are. And they'll get you there to one degree or another. I'm enjoying it as much as I ever have, if not more so. I get more thrills from it. I get more satisfaction from it than I've ever had. If you would have told me 30 years ago, or even 40, when I was dreaming of all this, that by the time I reached 65, that it would be more competitive than ever, that I would be more involved than ever. I thought 65, well, you got left to prove. You phone it in, you take it easy, you go to the beach, do a couple hours a week, and that's it, like Johnny Carson did. I, I can't imagine not doing this. It's a struggle for me because I, I had to inform my staff earlier today. And it, I can't escape, even though telling people are telling me it's it's not the way to look at it. I can't help but feel that I'm letting everybody down with this. But the upshot is that I have been diagnosed with advanced lung cancer. Diagnosis confirmed by two medical institutions back on January 20th. On the air, uh, I heard in my earpiece, Bill, check your email. And I saw the alerts and they said, get ready. We're going to read this in two minutes. And that was the news of Russia's diagnosis. I got some breaking news. I want to bring this to our viewers right now here. Fox News alert here from Des Moines. We're hearing a conservative American talk radio host, Rush Limbaugh, announcing he has advanced lung cancer. That was, that, that was a moment that I will not forget, and neither will the people who were around me on, on the set that day. And I wish I didn't have to tell you this. And I thought about not telling anybody. I thought about trying to do this without anybody knowing, because I don't like making things about me. But... There are going to be days that I'm not going to be able to be here because I'm undergoing treatment or I'm reacting to treatment. Russia's a fighter. Tonight, all of us are praying that he gets the treatment that he's now getting and gets back to work as soon as possible, doing what he does better than anyone else, and that's fighting for this wonderful country of ours, our way of life, our core values, everything we all hold so dear. We flew from Des Moines, Iowa, to Washington, D.C. for the State of the Union address. Almost every American family knows the pain when a loved one is diagnosed with a serious illness. Here tonight is a special man, beloved by millions of Americans, who just received a stage four advanced cancer diagnosis. This is not good news. But what is good news is that he is the greatest fighter and winner that you will ever meet. Rush Limbaugh, thank you for your decades of kindness, devotion to our country. He showed us, he taught us, he inspired us, he gave us he gave us direction, and we listened, and we learned, and we're better off because of it. And Rush, in recognition of all that you have done for our nation, the millions of people a day that you speak to and that you inspire, and all of the incredible work that you have done for charity, I am proud to announce tonight that you will be receiving our country's highest civilian honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. What you need to see is the reaction on Russia's face when it was announced that he would receive that award. And from my perspective, that's about all we need to know about how Rush felt about that high, high honor as an American. I will 
will now ask the First Lady of the United States to present you with the honor, please. So here he is dealing with his cancer, never as powerful and as impactful and influential as he was at that moment. At the same time, he knew as important as that is, uh, now he's in a fight for his life. It's official. Election Day is here. President Trump and Joe Biden making their final pitches to voters on the trail. Here it is November 3rd, Election Day, and we have to make room for this radio personality called Rush Limbaugh. Really? He wants to call and he wants to talk. I woke up this morning. And I thank God that I did. And um, I have had a very, very uh, good fortune uh, with the course of treatment that I've had. And I'm just thrilled to be here. I, 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 every day, I'm thrilled uh, to be here. I'm thrilled to be here and to be able to be part of this today. This was an objective. Very grateful and impactful interview because he let it all go. Number one, Rush Limbaugh's like that. It's not like you're listening to a newscaster in the 1950s who just is delivering these words. Everything he said, he felt and believed. I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for my family. Uh, they, they have, particularly my wife, who has just... This stuff is hard, but I'm, and a lot of people have been through it, and you know. And I don't, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on it, but you know the, the sacrifice that the people closest to you make. And they don't get any help. They don't get any assistance. They just do what they what they have to do. And I have been the beneficiary of some of the most loving uh, and devoted people. You could say, Rush Limbaugh, I'll do whatever you say. And there are people out there who say, whatever Rush says, I believe the exact opposite. He's polarizing, he's informative, he's interesting, and he's fun. And he also told the American public, you can have a huge impact. I mentioned at the outset of this, on the first day I told you, I have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. It is of uh, immense value, strength, confidence. And that's why I'm able to remain fully committed to the idea that what is supposed to happen will happen when it's meant to. There's some comfort in knowing that, that some things are not in our hands. There's a lot of fear associated with that too, but there is some comfort. It's helpful. God is a good It's helpful to be able to trust and to believe in a, in a higher plan. We begin tonight a Fox News alert, God, faith, family, country. This is what Rush Limbaugh embodied. And tens of millions of Americans listen. This force of nature will be missed. He always believed America was that shining city on the hill, the, the greatest country God ever gave man. And that, as Reagan said, we're only one generation away from extinction. And it's up to every generation to preserve, protect, and defend all the values that represented and inspired and, and, and Russia espoused every day. He'll be missed. Miss him dearly. God is a profound factor. Uh, Jesus Christ, a profound factor. I just try to give thanks every day for all of the blessings I have had a blessed life. I have had so many great friends. I have, and still do. There's nothing negative for me. There's, there's nothing, nothing that I have deep regrets about because I've been too blessed.